We're out here today looking at some corn, trying to see how some of these products we put out have been doing this year. And, you know, we've had extreme amount of rainfall throughout the year. This is the third year that this field has actually been planted in corn. So it was planted in corn, followed by wheat. We planted corn behind the wheat, and then we came back with corn again this year. So this is three years in a row of corn for us, which is kind of unusual for us, but you got a tremendous amount of residue out here. There's a lot of disease associated with that residue. We all know that. And we partnered with a company called Vive, and Vive has got several products out there that are, you know, that are tank mixable, which is hard to come by for infer. We always run into issues on infer trying to figure out what we could put in there that won't make cottage cheese. And you start messing with fungicides and stuff like that, it's always a real challenge. And they got a fungicide called Asteroid that is 100% tank mixable. It's compatible with anything we put in there. We ran several different things in there with it this year. We did replicated plots across this field here. We're gonna take it to harvest and see what it's gonna be. But right now it's got great disease control going on. It'd be great to see how it is late season, how long it lasts and stuff like that. Last year we had great ROI on the product. It really paid off for us. That's why we stuck it in this environment this year where it's been in corn for multiple years. We cut this corn open just to check and make sure we we're counting the, the leaves, the you know, see what growth stage it is right. And we counted the rings in the corn here and it it's about V6 right now. Probably here in about two weeks at V10, we're gonna put out some more nutrients and stuff like that and probably do a wild drop, put out a little more nitrogen on this corn here. And we'll keep you posted, give you some updates throughout the year. But right now the disease control looks great in it. There's really nothing going on in the plant. We usually have problems late season, so we're going to see how this product works late season for us and keep, continue giving you updates about it. But like I said, right now it looks good. And the big thing I always go back to when we work with Vive is how everything they have is compatible in an infirm mix, and that is really hard to come by.